Hello everyone, this is Jun Jiefeng, a PhD student in CPAS. In this video, I will briefly introduce you to a omnidirectional wireless charging board for portable devices application. Recently, wireless charging is an attractive feature for consumer electronics. In the current market, wireless charging pad is very popular. It's a planner system and can charge your smartphone or wearable devices when they lie on it. However, the charging pad can only support one-to-one -one charging, and the exact alignment is needed when placing the receiver devices on the pad. And our idea is to build a wireless charging bowl with a mini directional power transfer capability. With this charging bowl, you can simply drop all your devices in the charging bowl and don't need to worry about the alignment issue. It's very convenient to use. Due to mechanical reason, small portable devices is more likely to fall into the bottom of the bowl. Since the orientation of small portable devices is very flexible, therefore, omnidirectional field distribution is generated in the bottom. The field distribution is shown in this animation. The rotating field means the charging bowl can transfer energy to receiver in any direction. As for side effects, only planar devices can lie on it, and the orientation of a planar devices is pretty fixed. So, field perpendicular to the surface is induced in the side effects, as shown in this figure. With this field distribution, exact alignment between transmitter and receiver is not needed anymore. As for the detailed coils design, the design parameter and the design objective is shown here. The design parameter includes the turns number and the call radius of each turn, which have n plus one parameters. The design objective of the, de of the coil design is to achieve a strong coupling coefficient between transmitter and receiver calls for different receiver positioning. And to have the efficient power transfer, the coil quality factor of the transmitter coil should be as high as possible. To simplify the design parameters, we assume the core interval between adjacent coil is the same. Therefore, the n plus 1 design parameter can be reduced to 3 design parameters. Coil average radius, coil turns number, and the core interval. Then we have built the numeric model to calculate the coupling coefficient k and the core quality factor q. With the numeric model, we swapped the design parameter to achieve both high K and Q. Here, the coupling coefficient versus the coil average radius is shown as this red curve. As you can see, the coil radius must be high enough to cover the receiver coil and K get high K. The detailed swapping process of each parameter you can refer to our published paper. After we got the cost geometry parameter, we use 3D printing technology to print the charging bowl and the picture of the hardware is shown here. To drive the coils, LCCLLC running the converter is adopted. In the primary side, EPC A sign and four devices is used to operate at 6.78 MHz. In the secondary side, DFSL130 diode bridge is utilized. The system efficiency for charging a smartphone devices at 5 volt is shown in this figure. Here, each point represents a possible receiver positioning. So the system efficiency for charging a smartphone devices is around 80% in our setup. This is a commercial wireless charging pad. When the smartphone is aligned very well with the pad, it works well. But it cannot work even with some minor misalignment between the charging pad and the smartphone, so it's not convenient to use. This is the iPhone 5S, and we add a receiver coil and the circuit at the back. Then I place the smartphone in the charging bowl, and it can get charged very well. And I change the positioning of the smartphone, it can also charge it very well. So compared to a wireless charging pad, this one is much convenient to use. We don't need to worry about the alignment issue. For small wearable devices, a small coil and an LED light is used for the demo. 
So as you can see here, the LED can be lighted on with different positioning. And since we got all mini directional field at the bottom, the charging ball actually can charge the wearable devices with any orientation. And to demo a uh, multiple device charging, so here a smartphone devices and a wearable devices are charging simultaneously. The experiment waveform of live running is also shown here. From channel one to channel three are the switching node, voltage, current, and the coil current waveform. So here you can see the waveform is very clean because we achieved ZVS. And then I changed the output condition of the receiver coil. The waveform is also clean due to the benefit of ZVS operation at 6.78 MHz. Thanks for watching.